the nature of how maya works is things that are not important we are deceived to giving them such mass proportion of importance and the most important things we don't have time for because we're just too consumed by all the other things it's very difficult to balance spirituality while living in the material world very difficult for grihastas householders who might have jobs and children a husband has to take care of a whole family and the wife has to deal with husbands <laughs> as a swami i get around <laughs> and what i see is it's really difficult dealing with husbands this male ego is something so atrocious sometimes and it comes out in so many ways anyways <laughs> i've never been a husband in this life so <laughs> so many responsibilities and then somebody's thinking let me become a brahmachari simple life that's what you think simple life <laughs> you join the ashram with that idea that after some time you think so many things in the mind so many things to deal with and even when you're dealing with spiritual matters you know how much we can neglect the real consciousness that makes it spiritual to really put our heart into purely chanting the holy name not just memorizing verses but realizing and living by these verses distractions are everywhere so we come to pilgrimage places because we need grace you see you can't digest food if you have no hunger this is the principle of ayurveda every time i go to ayurvedic doctors and i'm sent to them all the time so many different ones they always ask how is your appetite because this is a basis digestion is a key to good health and you can't digest unless you're hungry so similarly grace is everywhere grace is all pervading just like the sunlight is all pervading but we become so habituated to live in dark places in order to digest and assimilate that grace we have to be hungry for it we are beggars for grace we understand the need for grace bhakti is not just about working and offering the fruits of our labor to to god or to someone else bhakti that that's a very fundamental state bhakti is about crying out for grace maya is very strong and krishna is all powerful and what is the greatest power of krishna his beauty his sweetness his love we are crying for that we are trying to absorb ourselves in being attracted by the all attractive it's natural so when we're here in a holy place of pilgrimage for many of you it's a rare thing maybe once or twice a year every moment should be utilized to be absorbed that is tapasya inconveniences will come if we're coming here to enjoy we'll probably suffer it's a lot of mosquitoes and so many other things the crowds if we're coming to serve we will taste transcendental happiness inconveniences are great blessings if they help us to take shelter of that grace You are listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.